everyone welcome back so we're going to be doing a bit more geography today i'm going to hopefully make it a little bit more fun but let's have a look okay so we've got a bit more fun quizzes today um basically that aren't just going to be straightforward uh, trivia i mean they are but they're going to be a bit mi more mixed up so we've got l words in geography uh, each subcategory basically so it's not one straight thing that maybe i would know a little bit better because obviously the america uh, quiz effectively became a lot of um politics and um, things like that and, and that was just easier for me and that's a little unfair maybe on on the quiz so let's go for this one uh, can I pick the correct L words or phrase for each subcategory in geography let's see uh, the national flag consists of three horizontal stripes uh, the chestnut colored stripe on top uh, the white stripe in the middle and the chestnut colored stripe at the bottom Oh, that, uh, that's Latvia, right? Yes. The largest city in the UK is, of course, London. Uh, the Bayou State. Bayou State, Louisiana? Oh, the Bayou. So, in about the Bayou. I knew what I was thinking, but the smallest L country and the fourth smallest country in the world. What have we got on there? Uh, Laos, Lesotho, Liberia. Is it Lesotho? No. Okay. Maritime city in the northwest of England, where the River, River Mersey means it's Liverpool. Uh, the most populous L country. Ooh. Would that be purely because of its size? Liechtenstein? Okay. Um, world's capital with the highest elevation. Highest elevation. Oh. Is that Laos? No, oh, we're we're falling down here. The capital of Slovenia. Okay, that's this one that I can't pronounce. Statue of, well, that'll be Liberty. Uh, the angular distance of a place east or west. Oh, that's going to be longitude. Cool. An acquisition from uh, France in 1803. That'll be the Louisiana Purchase. Uh, capital of Peru, that's Lima. One of the Zambia's um, four largest rivers and the major tributary to Zambezi River. That, uh, the Langua? Yeah. Uh, the third most populous city in North America. I'm going to presume this is Los Angeles. I think, what, New York and Washington would be the most populous, just logically. Uh, the only enclave country on the continent of Africa. It, is that Lesotho? Yes. Um, the largest Baltic state in both population and territory. Um, but, 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 but I'm just looking at Baltic states. It's Lithuania. <laughs> Had to be. It's the only Baltic state I could see on there. Second largest city in Papua New Guinea. Um, Papua New Guinea would be Ley. Um, the easternmost of the three uh, great Siberian rivers. Uh, uh, Lena. Um, border of the country, that Liberia. Ah, oh, trying. I saw the time counting down. The time was counting down. Ah, oh, okay. So that's annoying. <laughs> you got eighty percent. That means we did we get um we got one wrong, I believe one wrong, and the average score is seventy nine percent. So we got one percent above the average. The timer is what got me more than anything else. There, I started to read through them quicker. Uh, when I started to see the timer, I started to scan read rather than actually reading them out for you guys. Um, but that was a bit more fun. I mean, I did just a, just do above average. I think if I'd have had a bit more time, I'd have likely or got the rest of these. I think because I saw the Canada, Canadian River, a river or Canadian thing. I know that's the St. Lawrence. Um, and there's only so many things they could ask me about Liechtenstein, Laos, and the Paz. I think I'd have probably got. Um, but hey, there we go with that one. So the next one I want to try, well, again, a bit more fun, is this one. Is the tournament of countries uh, of uh, countries that are Europe. So you can see down here, if you can just about see, um, these are round challenges. Basically, we find the winner in the end, but um, it's going to ask me questions as we go and then basically face them off against each other. The first time it's going to ask me the highest population density, then um, more countries bordered by land, then a higher urban population percentages, uh, lower average uh, elevation, 
and then more Olympic medals per capita. Um, my my general knowledge doesn't even make it to this. My general knowledge then subcategorized in in uh, European geography. This may be one where you see me truly fail. So far, when I've done these geography quizzes, I've done all right for myself. Even ones where I've not done the best, such as the last quiz we just did there, I've still done above the average. Let's see how badly this goes. Okay, so um, between Estonia and Hungary. Uh, Hungary? Yes. Um, Spain and Italy. Um, Italy. Uh, Serbia and Latvia would be Serbia. Okay, United Kingdom and Turkey. United Kingdom, definitely. Turkey's much bigger. Uh, oh. Uh, kingdom. Yep. Uh, Finland and Germany. That has got to be Germany. Uh, Belgium and Austria. Belgium's pretty small and is very dense. So I'm going to say Belgium. If I can, of course, spell it correctly. There we go. Um, Monaco and Bulgaria. I mean, that's got to be Monaco because it's tiny. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Slovakia, Ukraine. Um, probably Ukraine, I think. Okay, this is where we start to go wrong. Um, uh, Chechia and Malta. Again, Malta is quite small. Uh, Netherlands and Slovenia. Now, there's a massive um, shortage of housing in the Netherlands, so I'm going to presume it's the Netherlands. Yeah, it's a massive, massive issue with housing and, and prices. I've been out there quite a lot in the past year. Um, Iceland and Lithuania. Um, Iceland is, is smaller, but I, I feel like there's hardly anyone in Iceland, so I'm going to have to say that one. Okay, it's, it's fair enough. Um, actually, if there's no one in Iceland, and it would have been Lithuania. Why did I put the other answer? I'm an idiot. Um, Croatia, Andorra. Andorra, again, very small. Yeah. Montenegro, Moldova. Okay. I've been to Montenegro. It didn't seem overly populous, um, but maybe a bit more than uh, anything. I haven't been to Moldova. I'm going to say Montenegro. This is where I need to travel, people. Um, Belarus and Romania. I think Belarus is a little bit more um, compacted with people. Maybe not then. Okay, Sweden or Greece? I think this has to be Greece, no? Yes. Um, Ireland or Portugal? Ooh. I feel like it might be Ireland. Portugal, okay, okay. Right, um, more countries bordered by land. Is it Hungary or Italy? Well, it's got to be Hungary. It, it, I mean, it had to be. Most of Italy is surrounded by water. Um, Serbia or the United Kingdom? Well, I mean, that is by default Serbia. <laughs> Women Ireland. Um, Germany or Belgium? Um, that'll be Germany because it's further inland, I think. Yes, because um, Belgium is kind of, yeah. Um, Monaco or, or Slovakia? Um, I mean, it's, Slo it's Slovakia, of course it is. Slovakia. Has to be Slovakia because of where Monaco is. It's just basically France. Um, Malta or Netherlands? Um, has to be the Netherlands, I think. Uh, Lithuania or Andorra? Uh, it has to be Andorra again, I think. Lithuania? Oh. If you want, is what four? Andorra's only two. Yeah, I went wrong with that. Uh, Montenegro or Moldova? I'm. Oh, sorry, no. Moldova or Romania? Even got to read these properly. Um, Romania. Yes. Um, Greece or Portugal? Portugal is only bordered by one, so it has to be uh, Greece. Okay. Uh, higher urban population. Oh, oh, higher urban population. Hungary, I think. Yes. Um, urban, basically city people. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Germany for, for like urban city. Netherlands or Lithuania? Definitely Netherlands. It just had to be Netherlands there. Had to be. Um, Romania or Greece? That's a tough one. I mean, it does have quite a lot of urban life there. But I, I think it... Mm, no, I'm going to say Romania. I'm going to say Romania. It is Greece. Okay, fair enough. Um, lower uh, average elevation between Hungary and Germany. Germany and Netherlands are quite close to each other. We always think of Netherlands as being basically flat. So um, 
although that could still be elevated of course i'm gonna go with germany though. i think germany is low elevated it is hungary great um and then between netherlands and greece i think it is the netherlands i'm gonna assume that and it is the netherlands just because it's flat um more olympic medals per capita between hungary and netherlands per capita is the thing that gets it here per capita is the thing that gets it because um assume it's been ah uh, oh. I reckon Hungary just has so many um, like weightlifters and things like that. Yes, we got that one right, people. We got that one right. With seven seconds left on the timer, and I have just noticed the average score for people here is 73%, and we got 74%. I have yet to kind of entirely mess up on these geography quizzes. Um, both this one and the last one, we were 1% above average. So we're just about getting better than average. 23 out of 31. Um, I'm quite glad I got the championship question right there. I think Hungary just has so many like weightlifters and um, the kind of the heavy uh, ob um, objects kind of thing, you know, shot put and things like that, that I I've heard of and know of. Um, but of course, um, and, and because of population, it, it wouldn't have pushed it more than Netherlands. It's not like there would be um, like two medals in Iceland and then against China would mean that Iceland had more because Netherlands and Hungary don't have that massive disparity. Um, and I've got most of these first ones right. I mean, look, if you look here, actually, on this side of the board, I only got two wrong. That question and that question, that's probably what helped me there. Um, I'm quite glad with that.